Okay, so there is this drama between TDS and Alec Kovguy, and to summarize it, TDS devs kinda screwed up. Do you guys know the old Molten Mode music which was in TDS? Well, it was made by this artist to begin with, and was never made by TDS themselves. In order to use this, TDS had to buy a music license, which, according to them, they did. And since they did that, there shouldn't be any problems with it, right? Well, not exactly, because even though they bought the license, TDS was never allowed to claim the music as their own. And you can clearly see it being named as TDS OST Molten Doom with no credit whatsoever. Now, even though the new music was made, it doesn't mean that it can avoid copyright. Mostly because it has the same beats and the same notes as the original one that Alec Kov made. The artist made this comment under the Meltdown soundtrack, which by the way is now unlisted and you cannot access it without a link. And in his comment he claims that TDS didn't buy a license, which I think it could be a case of just a simple misunderstanding. The artist also claims that if you do buy a license, you can only buy it to use the music, but you cannot buy the rights themselves. Meaning the devs, even if they did buy the license, they weren't allowed to claim the music as their own, or make a new one, remix it, and claim as its, as its own, which they did. Twice. The artist also said that the developers ignored him when he tried to contact them, which is honestly very believable. I think all would be fine if they just credited the guy in the title and just kept the original music's name. But we all now have good TDSs at crediting stuff. So yeah, TDS screwed up big time. And I'm sorry to say, but Bello and Raz are at the wrong here. The original artist has all the rights to do this and to defend his own piece of music. So that's it. See ya.